We're well into the spring bloom. Still got to wait a few more weeks before we start to see more hydrangeas starting to show their color here. And in terms of that color, well, it has a lot to do with the soil pH level. So let's talk about it. Acidic soil, typical with a pH level between 4.55, maybe up to 5.5. You get more of these blue colors in terms of your hydrangea flowers themselves. As you head closer to 5.5 and 6, that turns a little bit more purple, eventually more pink as you head towards six and six and a half. When you have more basic soil with alkalines, you get more of a pH level around seven, even higher than this. You can actually get closer to a red color in terms of some of those hydrangeas. So what to do if you actually want to change your hydrangea? Well, you can do so with certain varieties, adding aluminum sulfate, mixing in some pine needles, or using coffee grounds will bring it more acidic and closer to that blue shading. While on the other hand, closer to the pink, you want to add some garden lime, mix in some wood ashes and use some eggshells shells to get more of that vibrant pink colors. Now don't expect these changes to happen immediately, typically taking two to three months, and it's only the big leaf hydrangeas that do in fact change color with some of those changes in acidity. You want to make sure you're testing the soil pH first so you know uh, kind of where you're heading in typical bloom for these hydrangeas June into July. Of course, want to make sure you're adequately watering and keeping that soil rich for these hydrangeas to bloom.